Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining in the Darkness. Continuing on the Cell Key quest, we're in the Cave of Strength and going after that particular cell. On top of that, there's also one treasure that we also forgot to pick up long, long ago. We're gonna grab that too. So first things first is we're gonna go for that first chest, since that's closer to us. And all you have to do is simply... Oh, Kaiser Crab to start things off. Not that it matters, all the enemies are a joke at this point. I'll blast through that. Turn on over here. Oh, another Kaiser Crab! I mean, you guys aren't really anything special. I just get to beat the crap out of you. Okay, now this is a little more obnoxious. Go through here, turn this way, and this way. I mean, you guys can keep coming after me all you want. It doesn't make a difference, as I am still going to completely nuke you guys. What the? <laughs> that just happened. That's two enemies she has taken out. Oh yeah, I bet you guys would run, because uh, we are absolutely going to nuke you. I can't believe Princess Jessa just did an elbow drop for 50 damage and took out an enemy. Anyway, drop down this hole. This is done on purpose, because you don't get an encounter trigger this way. Now, we have our mystic rope, we can climb up and actually see what's beyond this path. And right there is the lone chest that has been very quietly untouched. Inside is a mithril ore. Unfortunately, upon getting that mithril ore, this also means I am absolutely full on inventory space, which means I have to use aggress and get out. It's just quicker to do it this way. So, enter Thornwood, and I'm gonna head for the trailer. So, what are we going to do this time? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is craft, using that Mithril Ore... Uh, oops. Anything, uh... I just wanna make sure, is everything taken care of? I know I haven't really touched anything, but I just want to make sure I don't have anything wrong. I mean, usually I'm kind of more intent on this, but... And I know I haven't touched the Demon Staff, so... Speaking of, let's go ahead and sell some of this junk. The first thing I'm going to get rid of is the Magic Shield. Milo doesn't really need it in this case. Since we're going after the light shield, the mithril shield is uh, pretty much effectively as at that point. Uh, everything else can stay. At the same time, the magic hood can be tossed out because I'm going to use this mithril ore to make a mithril hood for Pyra. Since the elven hood apparently doesn't... it's not equipped on Pyra. Pyra can't use the elven hood, which is why I sold it. Subsequently, the demon staff can go to hell as well. And I still need the dwarf's key to get back into the cave of strength. All right, craft, order, mithril ore, pyra, helmet. Eleven thousand eight hundred gold. I mean, I have nearly a hundred and twenty-one thousand. Who cares? And that takes care of that. I will leave Thornwood and walk right back in. And super speed with the trader allows for the Mithril Hood to show up. And I will give that to Pyra. Since, uh... That's it. Alright, go ahead and uh, have that equipment ready. Right. 
The Mithril Hood is hers. I would assume everybody else has the same stuff. Uh, yeah, Milo's missing his shield, but that's on purpose because I'm going after the light shield in this run. On to the Labyrinth. For the final time in the Cave of Strength, we're going for that cell. Now that I actually have the inventory space as well, we're in good shape there, too. But yeah, Pyra's MP is still pretty fine. I don't really need to use the inn in this case. So, we'll just take care of that. Use the Dwarf's Key for the absolute final time. Would have said otherwise were it not for the fact that... Uh, oh, shoot. Geyser Crab! Drop a train on it. I just need to get back into the Cave of Strength. And I'll egress out one more time since I'll be significantly deep into the cave as soon as I get to it. So, more or less repeat the same process. I just need to get the Mithril Ore out of the way and finally get rid of the Magic Hood so that Pyra has her best headpiece. And that finishes that off for good. On rolling. Now I think about it, I should actually have the magic ring ready for her. Oh shoot, I made a mistake. I didn't press right to send Pyra to Neanderthals. Well, one of them gets to survive and do nothing. Here, if he did do something, it would have been only scratch damage. Get on, loser. Alright, how much time? Eight minutes. Alright. Not that big a deal, we're almost back to where I ended. Just turn this way, and oops. As well went that direction. Wait, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I made an error, Dirk. I'm not really following my map here. <laughs> Just kind of goofing off when I shouldn't be. Oh well. Uh, at least I get to face a few more of these idiots. Yeah, turning into there was my fault. <laughs> Regardless, we still have a long way to go. So, just keep on rolling. This is the turn I needed to take. Fortunately, Kaiser Crab's a joke. I'll turn over here. Okay, yeah, we still got a ways to go. Yay, ambush! Which does nothing. Alright, there we go. All I really have to do is just walk through this entire passage, and the moment I see a fork to the left, take that left. And that's where the chest is. Remember, uh, remember when Gila was the thing? That's where you gotta go.
And that's precisely where I'm going to. It's just, uh... One step to face a kill wave. I mean, at least you're a total joke at this point. Even then, you were kind of a joke when I first faced you. So far, so good. Just keep on rolling, and these guys are definitely being exceptionally obnoxious. Certainly wasting my time here, that's for sure. I was actually hoping I could go after all three uh, cells in this episode, but I'm not sure I'm able to do that. It'll large, of course, uh, as I said at the end of last episode, like the very, very end. It'll all depend on how quickly I can get through 2F. And if it just puts on one step and carries all the way through, I'm not going to be able to make it. At this point, getting through 2F's enemies should be about as easy as getting through these, though, but then again, I could be wrong. We'll just see what happens. All the way through... I do know there are a few enemies that can pose a danger, though. I know the Salamanders will probably stu still do, like, 60 damage with their Fire Breath. And there's the Cell. Alright, without further ado, bring on the Cell King. Inside here is a very unusual item called the Forbidden Box. Now, what does it do? A shit ton of random stuff. Towards the party and towards the enemies. Maybe both! Overall, it is a complete and total crapshoot item that can cause absolute chaos. That pretty much describes it nicely. Alright, I'll walk out here, and I am going to get rid of the dwarf's key for good. Because I don't need it. Anything else of concern that needs to go? Uh, nope. I'll sell the forbidden box in this case, because I don't really need to do it. And... that's about it. Two more treasures to go! Let's make our way back to the labyrinth, and finish this off. This will also mark the very last time I ever have to use the Orb of Truth, and it's just to go through the quick end to get the 2 out quicker. Literally the only reason I'm doing it. With that, roll on ahead. There it is, it's going out. Hi, Grimwall. You're still just as weak as ever. Get owned, loser. Of course, first striking against these guys is kind of a joke anyway. I mean, they're a joke by normal means, too. Run through, and walking straight back into the labyrinth proper. Okay, so we just need to get... It's kind of early into uh, 2F, and I have mentioned the passage a couple times. Now that I have the cell key, I can actually walk that direction, it'll mean something. Keep on rolling all the way through. Let's go with a different route, I'm doing that this time. And we're basically off to the races for 3F. 
Once I get past that, we are 100% done. Oh, hey, smelling salts. Sweet. Not that it means anything, they are kind of a joke. But now, at least the enemies give a little bit more experience of tolerance. Not that it's really much. And power is no longer one-shotting anything. Uh, Jess, I still can't get three enemies. Oh well. She got two of them anyway. Which was still hilarious. First strike against Drippage. Alright, how much time we have? Okay, yep, I'm not gonna make it to, uh... I'm not gonna make it to the last one. We're at 16 minutes, and I'd have to really push if I'm gonna make it. But anyway, head straight here, and there's the cell. Oops. Use the cell key, open the door. Inside this one happens to be a barrier ring, which is pretty awesome. So, I'll have that in tow, and we'll just keep on rolling. Yeah, I'll speak on the barrier ring in a minute. Right now, my main focus is simply just getting... Oops. Oh, that was a mistake. Simply try to get through as far in 2F as I can, and see if I can get to the Shield of Light. I have eight minutes to do it. Well, actually, it's more like seven minutes. I'm racing against the clock here. Holy shit, Jessa actually got her third kill. Talk about incredible. Well done, Princess Jessa. The absolute beauty of that has to be seen to be believed. Deal with the Reapers first because of the D Soul. Yikes! That's a lot of Reapers. Well, hopefully, they all go down. And fortunately, they do. Demo whites. This this should also be kind of a joke. I mean, at this point, I'm faster than everybody. Everyone's faster than the enemies, so it should be just an easy joke, if that at all. Of course, one steps are annoying, but so is everything else in the game. It's been a pain in the ass for much of my run in this Let's Play, that is for certain. But, I have done pretty well for myself though, I've only had two actual recorded KOs over the course of the entire Let's Play. Both of them were just due to bad luck at the end of said episodes where I had some decent luck on all of them. And that's really it. So, okay, that one really wasn't that great. So I end up facing some one damagers. Big deal. Fire being cursed sucks, and now I'm down to, uh, at least I've reached the second half. 
Unfortunately, we cannot skip past this, and I just gotta go through the meager runs. Just past 20 minutes, and I finally reached the second half of 2F. So, not bad. I just gotta go along this long passage and hope nothing stupid happens. Maligators. Alright, I think I'll just start up at 3F, and that will uh, cover the episode. The goal is, can I get there? If not, how far can I go? Alright, we're right down the long stretch. And somehow I managed to get through most of that long passage without a single encounter. Heck, I was expecting the freaking Chrome Ball. Maybe I might get lucky. Oh, never mind. Speak of the devil, Chrome Ball. I wonder if I can actually just get rid of it at this point. Oh, fuck off! That still hits for 80 damage. <laughs> fuck off! Are you serious? Oops. That's just stupid. One of them decides to say, nope. I thought I actually had that chrome ball. Turns out it had me. Eat shit! That's the fourth kill from Princess Jessa and the third one in this video. That's amazing. Oh wow, double axe. How about that? I'm pretty sure it can be bought from the trader and at this- I mean obviously at this point it doesn't mean anything. But, uh, it's nice to see, though. Yeah, 22. I'll just start at the start of 3F. Main reason for that is because I don't have the medallion and the gold fountain. I still gotta make my way through the partial section of 3F to get to the cell to get to where I need to go. Run all the way straight up. More. Oh, it's a first strike, at least. So I can just through this. On rolling, a lone demo way. Come on, guys, this is getting dumb. I just gotta be careful with the headhunter, though. And there's two spots where it can show up. First one's upcoming. Three, two, one. Okay, dodged. And another round of this. I'm not going to make it, aren't I? I'm at 24 minutes. Gotta thread the needle. Thread the needle. Yes, I made it. Okay, 24 and a half minutes. This is where I'm going to end the episode, and we'll get the final cell key item next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.